What's up everybody? The clap, the fucking YouTube clap, I just did it. Welcome back to the video, hope you're well. I'm fantastic, obviously. Thank you for asking. We're back in Alpha Land, we're back in Alpha Elite Gym. This is Gym 2. This is the one with the big shutters that are open. We've got that draft coming straight through and we love it. We've got a leg day today. Uh, so we've got the colorful shorts on. We're training legs. We're in with Louie. And we're gonna do an educational leg day, baby. When's the last time we did that? A long time ago. We're gonna talk you through why we're doing things first. We're gonna talk you why we're doing them in what order. We're basically just gonna talk you through the whys and hows of everything, so let's go. All right, so <laughs> Louis is going to talk you for the leg day while explaining yeah. it to Joe. Yeah, so we're going to do the laying ham, go into the adductor, quad extension, a squat pattern of some sort, hopefully a leg press, and then it'll be calves. If I can squeeze in some more hammies with them, I'll be very grateful as well. Sam. One more. Be at the top. Yep. Oh, that's good. Oh, okay. You yeah, see so when we're working through those ranges, spending much more time going through that length of position, which we call the eccentric. I said this many times on the channel before, but the reason why we do that is actually because it's more energy efficient. You use less energy in the eccentric, but you also tear down as much muscle, so you're getting as many, if not more, gains for less energy. Spend some time in that portion of the room. Yeah, come on. Nice. Adductor, uh, actually one of the very few adductors on the planet that actually might not be able to stack, which is amazing because normally we have to stick so many plates on. We don't really train adductors that hard, so this will be fun. Be at the top. See how we at the top. Nasty. Ambitious. That's, it's nicer. It's, uh, is it supposed to be heavy at the top? Yeah, I know. It's interesting the way it is. I guess it is. Yeah, it is. Well, it's just like not on purpose. <laughs> That's so heavy. That's quite nice not to have to stick a but ten plates on it, though. Eh. <sighs> <sighs> My doctors get blown like uh, like your adults. <laughs> oh god, I'm already hammered. Training a little bit, like just below, like 100% probably. There you go. Training like just below 100%. Uh, got him. Uh, I'm four days post comp, five days post comp. I've still got drugs in my system. In fact, I've got less drugs in my system, so recovery is down. Uh, I haven't eaten loads of food, so I'm not like, haven't got like some stupid recovery capability just yet. Uh, so I'm trying to find that balance between training hard enough to cause some stimulation, give a little bit more calorie output, but not train so hard that I put myself into a hole. I'm in Alpha Land, I'm in Houston. What I really need to do is take a deload. I'm not gonna do that here. I'm not gonna do that here. So I'm gonna hold on until, uh, until we go back home and then I'll probably take a little bit of a rest. But for now, just below failure. Uh, 
So uh, leg extension is taken. Usually we're doing leg extension first. Tax that short range of the quad. Uh, like, and by short range, I mean fully extended. At no point in a leg press, in a hack squat, are you gonna fully extend at the knee, or you shouldn't be, because you're gonna be putting so much sheer force through that knee and so much tension through the back of the knee, that you never get into that position. And then if you say you do your leg extensions after this, which we're gonna do today, but it doesn't make too much difference uh, because of the situation that we're in, uh, you're gonna be much more fatigued going into that leg extension. So getting into that hyper extended, fully extended position is gonna be a little bit more fatigued. But, so usually we'll put something like a leg extension first, warm the knees up, but we're not gonna do that today. So do as I say, not as I do. Oh, there he is. Jesus, I've not been on a Cybex hat squat in a long time. I used to do seven plates on there. Reverse banded. can't pick up how hot it is in here as well. Solid excuse as well. So, uh, hack squat buried my knees. Lou is fine. <laughs> so the hack squat buried my knees, so I didn't want to go take another set. I've got to be a little bit clever. So we're moving on to the leg extension now. So now we can maximize that short range. Now we can really, and we're also using the prime here. The prime and strive, there's maybe a few others out there in terms of gym equipment that you can actually adjust the resistance profile which essentially just means we can adjust where it gets heavy and light within the, the extension. We want this to drop off at the top as we are fatigued and we want to go through that range of motion. So we do a couple of sets on here and then we're gonna try a leg press that's a little bit more forgiving on a knee, on the knee, and see if we can arrange about that. So you guys can take from this, like, yeah, if you are facing injuries, there are different exercises that will put you through different ranges of motion, different load patterns that can allow you to account for injuries, to account for uh, fatigue and different things like that. So that's kind of what we're doing here. <sighs> yep. Come on. <sighs> Come on, mate. Let's go. Yeah. Nice. <sighs> nice, Lou. All the way through. Good. Come on. Extend right through the knee. Good. Come on. All the way through. Full extension. Come on. Good. Now for someone who's got a, a slightly higher recovery capability, more food, more drugs, we'll, we'll take them through those extra reps. Because yeah, they're building more fatigue and they're gonna bury a little bit more, but he's got the tools to get out, whereas I don't. So I'm just stopping just before. That makes sense. Yep. Nice. 
to get a newbie. Oh. That's me. Leg press to finish. Hammered. Belted. Smashed. Tired. Hungry. Food. <laughs> Alright guys, that is this session done. Our first kind of like total session at Alpha Land, Alpha Elite Gym. So gym two, absolutely my favourite gym that I potentially have ever been to. I think it's got the top spot. I don't think there's better than this. I don't think anyone can do better than this except for <laughs> one day, one more land. <laughs> uh, unbelievable, what an experience. Uh, like I said, guys, we're just trying to focus on recovery to a certain extent, enjoying training, not getting uber fixed on like movement patterns and, and, and what goes where and trying to progress. I'm not so worried about that right now. I'm like, enjoying my training, having some food, uh, feeling more human again. Uh, and it's important to know it's not going to happen overnight. It's not going to happen in a week. You can make it happen in a week. If you binge, if you binge into the ground, we're not about that. I'm only two or three pounds above stage weight five days later I'm doing this properly I am so motivated to get to this top I am so motivated to get to the O I'm going there it's just a matter of when so everything to get to the O it starts the moment started the moment I got off stage so guys if you enjoyed this one let me know comment down below see you soon peace